All right, so today on the wonderful adventures before we go to Las Vegas, um, we are reliving my childhood and going to a couple of places that I enjoyed when I was a child, starting with where I used to vacation as a child for several, several years, Conneaut Lake Amusement Park. Um, I used to come here all the time as a kid with my family and there was two things. The Blue Streak was the blue wooden roller coaster that everybody rode and the there was this one haunted house that my sister and my dad would ride but i could not ride because i was too scared of it as a kid so i'm hoping that one everything is still here two time out look at the sign conneaut lake park splash center um oh my god i remember all this stuff um Oh, there's so many cool little rides. Anyway, um, so the haunted house. So my sister and my dad would ride it, but I wouldn't ride it because I was too scared. So I'm hoping that it's still here and that I can find it and I remember what it looks like and that um, I can ride it because it would be so cool to relive my childhood like that. So that's what we're going to do. My friend Mark is going to join me. He's going to make an appearance here on the, on the channel in a minute. Um, and I already got his consent. So let's park. So here we are at Conneaut Lake Park, reliving, recreating my childhood with my friend Mark. It's part of my adult life. So let's not, get ride wristbands and figure this an park adult, out. Michael. Not till September 21st. <laughs> then I turn 30. Gross. All right, so we got our wristbands and I found literally the best thing ever. The haunted house that I would not ride as a child is still here. I'm so excited called the devil's den i didn't even know what it was called i was so goddamn scared of it there it is the famous gum wall you could drop yes so this is everything that i ever thought it was going to be Oh my goodness. Then I think somebody should come through there. That's all oh my god. This so is you're so riding. I have to. I'm not scared anymore. You better be. I've wanted to do this. I could not do this as a small child. I was so scared of it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm a little scared. Okay. All right, let's do it. Ooh, look at it. Oh, look at it all. Guys, it's finally happening after, God, 26 years. Look at all the gum. That's so cool. I would always go, I'd have to go to Kitty Land because I was six last time I was here. So cool. Um, I don't know, let's go this way. I would not ride that one. What's that? Would I ride that one? I'm not a spinny person. Exit dead end. We're I think park. we're at the end. Yeah. Uh. 
All right, what else can we find? That is the throwback from my childhood. Other than the sunscreen getting all over my sunglasses. <laughs> all right. So we just did some bumper cars. Mark lost horribly. I, I drank heavily. Don't tell my insurance company. Just don't tell our insurance company that this is how we usually drive. <laughs> uh, so we did the iconic Devil's Den. Now we're gonna go ride the iconic Blue Streak. I. Uh, no, it's not like a metal song. Um, I do not remember this roller coaster at all, but it's like in theory, it's like really rough. Are your My viewers, dad said that like. Are your viewers doing a shot every time you say the word iconic? You should, guys, do a shot every time I say iconic. All right, let's take a look. It's over here. There it is. Take a blue streak. Can you see like the big sign? Blue streak. All right. Let's go get on the blue, iconic blue streak. Okay. Just got off! Woo! Guys, you'll have to come to Quanti Out Lake Park and do this at some point. It is a hurtful, fun time. I would do it again. We're gonna do it again. I have this to do ride it. ride would not I have to do it again. By, by the time they came. So iconic. What did we learn today? One, the blue streak is iconic, and so is that devil's, devil's den. Two, I'm, we are now at the age where spinning rides just are not a thing anymore. Old man can't do Ugh. it. Ugh. It was just, they look fun. Even I that. And then you get on there, and no thank you. But I don't know what to do now. I mean, we basically rode everything. But we'll probably have to go back to the blue, blue streak a couple more times just for funsies. And then, We'll go to the next place on the tour. Okay, so the next stop on my journey for revisiting my childhood. Let's do it. So we're going to go to the Spillway in Linesville, Pennsylvania. And so this is literally where there's like hundreds of fucking fish that you can feed. So what are we doing? Brought a ton of bread that we can do. Okay, it's working. All right. Let's go take a peek. Let's see. Ducks want some? Bring the little ducks over. And the geese, even though they're mean. Alright, and the real fun is actually like down here a little bit more where where they all they all hang out down here. So let's go. It's my little duck friends.
spillway up here is exactly this is why we come here. It's not all that stuff back there. It's this one up here. They're all down there. My little duck friends are over there. Alright, so that was my fun-filled day of recreating everything I used to do as a child. From the age of two to three, when I went to Conneaut Lake Park and then came here, fed all the little fishes, to college at Allegheny College. Um, I don't know, it's been kind of a cool way to revisit everything that I did as a child and kid before I sort of closed this East Coast chapter on my life and work on getting out to Las Vegas. So. What a cool couple of days. What a cool day. It was a one day, um, but just being home really for four to five days with my parents, just hanging out, spending some time before the move. Um, I don't know, it's been fun. It's been fun, it's been real, it's been great closure. I'm really glad I did it. And I'm glad that I got to do everything I wanted to do at the end of the day, so. I'm gonna get in this baby right here and drive about two hours home. And then, what's today, Thursday? So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days, four or five days and my apartment will be packed and then it'll be on its way. So next big chapter, we're gonna start moving across the US, do this big month long road trip. I'll keep you guys updated as that goes on and we'll touch base sort of along the way. All right, have a good day guys.